Which steroid creams work best for eczema? First of all, what are steroid creams? Steroid creams are anti-inflammatory agents that are used to reduce inflammation. They are useful for short-term use of conditions such as when you have a flare-up of eczema and they're not intended to be for long-term use, which we'll talk about later. Apart from steroid creams, you have other formulations such as ointments, lotions, and gels. Out of all of these, ointments tend to be quite potent, they're quite greasy, and they're useful for very dry and flaky skin. While creams are used for all purposes, they can be easily absorbed into the skin, they're used for very hot weather if you're quite sweaty, whereas with the ointments, if that mixes with the sweat, that can actually introduce infection into the skin. So as I said, steroid is very effective for controlling flows of eczema. Eczema is basically when you have dryness of the skin, irritation with redness flaking, and you get very itchy skin, and you realize that emollients or moisturizers on its own are not enough to control flare-ups, and this is where steroids come in. So you've got different grades of eczema. You've got mild, moderate, and severe eczema. So in mild flare-up of eczema, you find that you need the mild steroids such as hydrocortisone 1% cream, which you usually apply twice daily. You can use it once daily if very mild, but most cases it's twice daily. After a wash, morning and evening, a fingertip unit is equivalent to two adult hands. So if I had eczema on both hands, one fingertip unit from the top of the index finger to the crease of my finger would be enough for me to apply the steroid to both hands. Seven days is usually a sufficient period for which to use hydrocortisone steroid cream for mild eczema. If you had moderate eczema, it's very unlikely that hydrocortisone will be effective. So you need the moderate steroid cream such as Umovate. Now Umovate is classed as moderately potent. Again, same application as hydrocortisone, twice a day to the affected areas only. Do not apply to normal skin for reasons that I'll tell you later. If you had, I mean, if you use the Umovate and you find that it's not effective, then you can try a stronger preparation such as Betnovate RD, which is a milder form of Betnovate, or you can try Betnovate 0.1% cream, which is classed as potent. So this you can use for moderate eczema. Again, same application, remember, apply very thinly due to the potential side effects. Another class of steroid in the moderately potent category is called Elocon. Elocon 0.1% can also be used as an alternative to Betnovate, especially if you find that Betnovate hasn't helped or Betnovate is out of supply, but my preference is usually to go for the Betnovate simply because it's cheaper and it tends to have less side effects than Elocon. However, if you had severe eczema, you find that you'd have to use very potent steroid creams as usual, you can try Betnovate or Elocon first of all, but if none of these steroid creams are working, then you might have to graduate to Demovate. Demovate usually comes as an ointment rather than as a cream. So with Demovate, usually you find that rather than using twice a day, once a day application is more than sufficient enough to control the eczema. Now, all of these creams or ointments are normally for short-term use. So if you have flare-ups, we normally advise ideally seven days, though in quite severe cases, you can actually stretch it up for as long as four weeks. However, it has to be quite a thin application and you have to reduce the frequency of the use of each week. If you look at my other video on controlling floats of eczema, I discussed the weekend regimen where basically you, week one, you apply twice a day, week two, once a day, week three, every other day, then week four, you find that you only need to use the steroids on weekends only and you're gradually winning off the steroids, which helps to reduce the side effects, which I'm going to mention. So possible side effects include thinning of the skin, easy bruising of the skin, hypopigmentation, where your skin is lighter than usual. If you notice hypopigmentation, you should stop the steroid straight away because the hypopigmentation can be reversible. However, if you continue using the steroid on that same area, not only is your skin going to get thin, easily bruised, as well as stretch marks, but you can get lightening of the skin, which is irreversible. Now, my son had mild eczema on his elbow, and I thought, I just wanted to get rid of the eczema quite quickly. So I applied Demovate for about a few days, but even after a few days of applying the Demovate, I noticed that that part of the skin has started to get lighter. Luckily, I had stopped the cream straight away, and now his skin color is back to normal. I did notice that a few patients have told me that even in mild eczema, sometimes they do use the moderately potent cream, such as your Betnovate, and they only need to apply twice a day, which is not a problem, but if you continue applying it with an increased frequency and you're doing this on a weekly basis, then you can have side effects as a use of what we call prolonged steroids.